This is why secular space is key, because only if we have a space where we can talk about politics in a way that's free of religion can we take these issues on. And those are the struggles now going on in Egypt and Tunisia and in many other places. And we have to be able to say separation between the state and religion has, is, is an undergirding, uh, the foundation on which human rights are uh, built, because nobody else will say it if we don't. And tonight is testament that there are people who want to challenge and who want a space to be able to ask questions. To this space, the space we've created here, the space that the Centre for Secular Space has created, is so precious, it's so important. I'm really shocked by the idea of secular space because I think when I was growing up it never occurred to me that there wouldn't be secular space. So it's only over the last few years where in this country we've seen that spaces that have been considered secular, but which I just thought of as spaces, um, have been challenged by the religious right. Whether it's the religious right or whether it's religious organisations anyway who are just daily impeding on the work of feminist groups as we've seen the Salvation Army are taking over service provision from lots of women's groups, you've got youth services being provided by religious groups, you've got funding that, that would have gone to feminist organisations, left organisations now going to the religious right. Because as a trade unionist, it's, uh, I mean, one is constantly searching for ways to build solidarity. It has to be the right kind of solidarity. Obviously, one of the things about trade unionism is that secularism or creating a secular space is very important because actually if you allow um, um, religion into it, it can be very destructive. And this is the kind of space, the only kind of space that we can find refuge in. Uh, the refuge is where we can both understand the race politics, the class politics, the gender politics, but also be able to challenge. And I think for Muslims to challenge Islamism within their own community, it's a difficult one because they, they often get labelled as themselves being anti-Islam. Uh, and as such, they are, uh, you know, they're kind of ousted from the community and they're left on their own to fight their, their battle. And, and it's not, I think it's not conducive for, um, for Muslim secularists to, to, to take on the battle themselves. They have to um, partner with other like-minded people and groups in order to take on the, the Islamist. And I know that these kind of spaces, the spaces that don't have a religious agenda, are the most precious to women because regardless of whether they have religion or not um, and how they, sh how they demonstrate their religion or not, these are the spaces where they can actually articulate their wants, their desires and their human rights. And I think human rights is the thing that I would say is the thread within all of this. Wherever you're speaking, however you're speaking, a, sec a truly secular space will be the only way in which human rights will be activated for women.